One man who was in a terrible car accident ended up getting some life-saving blood transfusions. So he knows if it wasn't for those blood donations, he may not have survived. John joins us in studio this morning to show us how he is looking to give back in a great way. Good morning. Good morning. Daewoo uh, Thompson, or Scooter, as he's known by friends and family, needed 298 bags of donated blood during his 53-day stay at the hospital. That's enough to replace the blood in his body 20 times. Now, almost a year after that crash, he's made a full recovery and was looking to pay it forward by being featured in his own blood drive. How you doing? Good, how are you? You look so great. Thank you. Daewoo Thompson has a new appreciation for every moment. Two, three. Scooter, as he's known by friends and family, knows he's lucky to be here. It's been a year next month on the 28th. I got into a traumatic car accident. It was me and two other friends. I was driving. I had my other friend in the passenger seat, and then I had a friend in, a behind, in the back seat. When the car had flipped and all of that, I don't know where I was. I'm just sitting there, just bleeding out. Thompson was rushed to the hospital. They gave me 36 hours to live. I was losing so much blood in the inside, they really couldn't figure out where it was coming from. They couldn't stop it, so they didn't know what to do at that point. Without the blood transfusion, I think he would not have um, been where he is today. Luckily, he was able to hang on. He's so strong and brave, honey. Thanks to his doctors and donors. One of the uh, largest transfusions, I think, that we've ever seen. More than 100 units of blood products and then continuing into his stay, um, probably at least another 100 units over the course of his stay. I'm just thankful I'm here and I made it through that situation because that was, that was a pretty tough situation. I, sh I could have, should have been dead, actually. His full recovery shocked everyone. 50 days. Everyone except his mother. They said 36 hours. So we care 50 days out. Well, one thing about Scooter, he's always been a strong kid. His whole life, he's always been a fighter. Scooter and been through so much, and Scooter always recover. Thank you so much. With a new lease on life, I wake up and thank God every day. Thompson has a brand new outlook to go with it. So Scooter's blood drive is going to be from 9 in the morning till 2.30 in the afternoon tomorrow at Saint, uh, Ascension St. Vincent Hospital where he was treated. You can find more information about that blood drive and how you can sign up in this story on WTHR.com. They're also accepting some walk-ups, but as we were talking about earlier, blood donation is so crucial mm -hmm. right now in the past couple of years during the pandemic. Um, and there's a there's a success story, someone who, who received blood and then is also going to be um, paying it forward. And, you know, sometimes it's those stories mm -hmm. that is what it takes to get someone who's never given blood before right. to be like, all right, I'm going to do this. If it's not for me, it could be for a family or a friend. I interviewed someone a few months ago and they said every time they saw their husband laying there and needed blood, when they'd bring a new bag in, she realized that was a person that was giving, which was uh, a great thing. Great story, John. Thanks yeah, so much. Thanks for